Hello everybody, this is Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram, as well as Batman TAS Figs here on YouTube, and co-host of DC Figures and Collectibles, which is a uh, collector slash photography podcast is on toys, and it's available anywhere that podcasts are available. And today I have something a little different, something that I was able to work on yesterday and do a custom of with the help of my cousin at Venomous on Instagram and he's a Star Wars artist and also just a big fan of DC so he's a bit a big a bit <laughs> he's been a big fan of the movie ever since it's come out and since no toy company has made any figures we decided we we're gonna try our best to make our own and we've been trying with Alfred bodies I know that he's got a, a new body that he's a t that he's done hopefully he does a picture soon because it looks pretty good but uh, this figure right here, I think, is the best that uh, we've got so far, besides the version that he's going to show soon. Uh, this looks really good with the mask. <laughs> and the mask is just a print-off on some photo paper and some different green fuzz from um, the hairs we made for the actual real-life mask. And that just gives it more of a realistic look. The gun is from Two-Face Soap Studios, and... We're uh, trying to make molds of that, but this figure is really special. Let me. So I took this. This is called Sculpey, and you can put it on an item and sculpt it however you want, and it doesn't get hard or set in until you apply heat. And with a figure like this, you could use a like one of those big yellow floodlights because that gets really hot, or you can use a uh, blow dryer. And we just went and got a $10 blow dryer from Walmart. And uh, it worked. And what I used to sculpt the hair. Here, I'll show you all the way around. It actually was a lot of sculpting. But what we did to sculpt the hair is use this. Get the general shape. And then took the end of a, uh, <laughs> a paper clip. You know how it's a little circle at the end? And just went with it and pushed in the circle and quickly lifted it up to give it a little texture. And that was uh, Venomous's idea, Eli. And I did the sculpt work and it actually ended up looking pretty good. And he also did the face paint. And then uh, the jacket, I want to be able to make plaid and that's removable and goes on and off pretty easy. But then the one thing I really, really think is special slash Okay, I'm nerding out over. Is the fact that the nose is <laughs> the nose and the little hat to complete the uh, outfit, the carnival, as he would say, carnival. Uh, yeah, I really, really think that that adds a really cool layer to the figure. And of course, the jacket could go on, and you could have the sign. Everything must go. Boom! You got a figure. Also, thank you to. Eli at Venomous for this. Gonna definitely. What can you guess I'll do with this? No idea. No. But then I also got extra mask that I'll probably cut and use as background. Thug mask or something like that. But um, the shoes, that was all him. That you can see. Just added some length to it, some heat. And then I might add some color to make them more. Uh, to screen authenticity with the blue and red but yeah I really think that this is a cool figure I might end up selling it because it's pretty cool I could see it going to a good home so if you're interested hit me up but I'm gonna do some more pictures uh, if you want to see more pictures you could head over to my Instagram I already have one of him in full carnival makeup like he is right now and the next one I'm gonna do is uh, when he's on the subway and he just doesn't have the hat on or the clown nose. So go check that out. And yeah, just go check out the my page in general if you like it. Feel free to follow. Feel free to subscribe here. And also uh, go follow our podcast. I'll try to make sure everything's in the links. In the uh, about me, like a good boy, like I'm supposed to. Alright?